Okay, so we just did the, where the AD curve shift and how do we translate that to our Phillips curve model. Now we're going to take uh, a little different example, still starting at long run equilibrium, but instead we have the short magnetic supply curve shifting to the left. And if you remember, this is a dastardly little thing here, uh, with which we call stagflation. All right. Now I'm going to take a second. I'm going to step out of the way here. See if you can figure out what's going to happen to your A and B over on this guy, and then. I'll tell you what's going to happen and see if it matches, all right? Hopefully it does. I'll step out of the way. And I'm back in the way. Now, let's see here. From A to B, what happened to the price level? Looks like it went up to me. Which means that my inflation went up too. So I'm going to come over here. There's my A, inflation up. My intermediate dot. Now, unemployment is, well, correlates to GDP here. So i got to see. GDP went down. Means unemployment up. Oh. Which means over here I'm going to the right now. So I've gone up. And you notice my B is in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing there. Hmm. This is a situation where the short run Phillips curve is actually going to shift. Uh, and it, uh, in the next lesson we'll talk about inflationary expectation and how they are going to change the short and filter. curve. And, but for right now, you know that they correlate with, and it's a mirror image of the short and aggregate supply curve. So when the short and aggregate supply curve goes to the left, short and filter curve goes to the right. Okay. Now, let's just talk about stagflation for just a little bit. Because it's really nasty. Because you lose your job, and when you go to the grocery store, the stuff you want to buy costs more. That's particularly nasty stuff, right? Uh, and if you wanted to, imagine what would have to happen here if that short and aggregate supply curve were going to uh, fix itself here and going to shift back so that you're in long-run equilibrium. Imagine how that would have to happen. You would have to get workers to agree to price, uh, wage cuts at a time when prices are going up. Man, that's a tough deal. Uh, and consequently, your price level would come back down if the short and aggregate supply curve moved to the right. So firms would be taking smaller prices at a time uh, when workers aren't particularly happy. This is, this is a really hard problem to solve um, with the long-run adjustment process and inflationary expectations because everything says we should agree to a higher inflationary expectation, but you don't to solve this problem. It's really nasty. Um, and so this is one of the more cumbersome economic problems that you run into in AP Macro. If you have any questions, let me know, but hopefully your A and your B are pretty solid here. And again, you can see mirror images. Let me know if you have any trouble. Have a good night.